Hi, I'm Ryan from Race Coatings, and today we're going to show you through some processes of our ceramic coating, and we'll show you the benefits of the ceramic coating being applied to all various applications. Okay, so this is a, a pipe that we've um, just received um, from one of our uh, manufacturers. So basically what we're gonna do today is just run through the process of from start to finish. Um, as you can see, it's quite, quite oily when it comes in. So most um, either brand new or secondhand items will have some carbon in them um, or some, some oil and, 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 and all sorts of metal and grit on them. So basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pop them into the oven so we'll degrease the item, that'll, that'll remove all oil and solvents off the product, so they'll be completely clean before we throw it into the sandblasting machine. These ones have been in the oven for one hour here. Basically we'll be sandblasting the whole product inside and outside, so then we can actually coat the pipe on the inside diameter and on the outside diameter. All the products have been blasted, no solvents on them now, all nice and clean, ready to go. It's quite a critical, uh, application, if we don't blast these right, the ceramic won't hold and it will flake off. So as you'll see now, the guys will prepare themselves for paint, complete bake. Once it's out of there, it will travel over to the tumbling machine, which I'll show you now. We'll talk a little bit about the tumbling process. Here you might see, if you have a little bit of a zoom up, uh, the different size media balls. Basically these are to get around the nooks and crannies of the, of the pipe work or whatever surface we're trying to polish. The vibration effect with the ceramic media balls hitting the surface of the product. So I'll just pull out the product now. And it's just going through its process. So the part will come down, it won't touch the surface of the, of the, of the wall and it will keep rotating. While it's rotating, there's about 700 kilos worth of media that will be touching the surface at a very fast pace with a soap and water. This gives us, gives us that nice shiny polishing finish to what we see with that ceramic that's been painted on. The process will take roughly between 45 minutes to an hour and a half. The longer we leave that product in for, the better the shine that we will get at the end of the product. We've got a before and after of our ceramic polish. Um, here you can see this is just after the sprayed application. So it has like a chalky white effect. And then here you have the polish finish. So as you see in the tumbling machines there, we popped in before, and then this is the, about an hour process. Three different pistons here. One that's um, not coated, one that's coated in our gold premium um, ceramic, and then also our other premium turbo ceramic. So what we're trying to achieve here is obviously less heat penetrating through the top of the crown of the piston and traveling through into the crankcase. What we're gonna show you in a little, little bit is a video of potting a blowtorch onto the top of the piston of the crown of a non-coated and we'll just show you the difference in the heat penetrating through the top into the bottom case. Yeah, 213 degrees. Eighty five. Forty-nine. Fifty. Oh, that's hot. that's still really hot. Even between the three, you can tell the difference. Fifty. Maybe not three. Fifty-five. Yep. That Fifty-five. Over, yep. 
we've basically done a back-to-back -back test uh, with an uncoated piston. We saw results um, quite, quite uh, astounding actually. There was um, a heat roughly around 90 to 100 degrees on top, but what was happening is as we were holding the torch down, the heat was traveling and dispersing into the crankcase underneath the piston and where it was, where we were, temperature we were sensing underneath, we were seeing anywhere from 200 degrees to 230. So you can just see how the ceramic on these two have eliminated the heat traveling through the top of the crown going underneath the piston into that crankcase, whereas this had no um, safety barrier in regards to heat traveling through 90 degrees on top and almost 220, 230 degrees underneath traveling into the bottom of the crankcase. Now these two retained their heat at the top. So we saw around 85 to 90 degrees at the top, but underneath, we, only, we saw temperatures of around between 40 and 55 degrees. So big, big result difference between an uncoated piston and a coated piston. About a 40% decrease in temperature traveling through the top of the crown into the crankcase. Here you see a brand new diesel piston off the BT50 in the Ford Ranger. After a rebuild, the best thing about what we do here is we're trying to improve the bore to piston clearance. Okay, so we get the, the standard piston so what we're going to be doing is sandblasting and etching through this section here. We will apply the Teflon coating that's on the side skirts here. It's in blue in color. It's a very, very durable product. You'll find once that's been in a car for say 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 Ks, you will not get any scratching on that bore at all. The great thing about ceramic is another thing that we'll touch base on is we can coat the whole surface because it's such a thin product, a thin film that gets applied. The threads, as you can see here, we can still screw our manifold bolts straight into that uh, manifold. Threads do not get affected. You can screw straight in and bolt it straight back onto the motor as you would per standard. What we've got here, a bit of a tester of why we should use ceramic over something like powder. Um, so we've got a few examples. This is a, a, obviously a powder coated shield. Um, we have a ceramic uh, turbo housing and also a ceramic exhaust um, header. So what I'm going to show you here, we've just got some thinners. I just wanted to wipe it over all the three products just to explain why the benefits of having ceramic um, in your engine bay than you would powder. So I'll just give you a quick rundown and I'll just wipe a little bit of this onto the powder just to show you that obviously it will damage. Like any other solvent, powder doesn't have that durability factor. It's taking the product off and starting to ruin the integrity of the color. Very, very durable product. As you can see, anti-corrosion, you can wipe it down with anything thin as prep wash, any acetone, but still not losing that shine. Doesn't affect the integrity at all. Same with the black. You can wipe it with thinners, it'll dry straight back to the same it was before. So not only do we do just turbo housing, headers, that's probably 90% of our work, but you've also got things like rocker covers, intakes, anything that's metal. The only product we can't do is magnesium, but any other surface, titanium, aluminium, mild steel, stainless steel, any grade of stainless steel, we can coat in any form of ceramics that we offer. So you've got your chrome finish, which will handle 800 degrees Celsius, which has an aluminium oxide in it. And then you have your black, which will handle 1200 degrees Celsius. So you just your two different ratings there. All can be coated on the inside diameter of the product and on the outside diameter of the product. By coating the inside diameter, what's gonna happen is the exhaust temperatures are gonna stay inside the pipe and not disperse outside the product. So what we're trying to do is eliminate that heat getting out of, the, of any of the mild steel, stainless steel. We wanna keep it in and getting it out as fast as possible. Power increase and obviously reducing temperatures of around 30%. Here is a black ceramic. Um, we have, that's probably one of our most popular colors, but we also do offer here at Race Coatings multiple different color options, customized for each customer. So what we have here is we've mixed a little bit of silver and black together to come out with a nice charcoal grey. It's also in ceramic, coated inside and outside, doesn't affect any of the threads. You can screw any of your, your housings back on, no problems at all. You can machine the faces off, no issues. And what we've coated it, just with that glossy finish you can see, is because we've put ceramic clear on top. Okay, the ceramic clear 
has got the heat durability also. But not only that, it's great with uh, fuel resistance and any solvent. So you can wipe it down with prep wash thinners, any of the solvents you like, and it won't lose that look. For all the LS fans out there, we've got a, just an LS1 that we've done as a display engine. Uh, you'll probably see this around in shows all around Melbourne. But basically what we've done here is we've coated everything that you can see. So anything from the bolts, um, timing covers, rocker covers, intake, blocks being coated as well. So we've done a Teflon coating only baked at 150 degrees. So it doesn't ruin the integrity of the actual block itself. We're only taking the temperature up to 150 degrees. It's the great thing about this product is you can wipe it down with any of those solvents as I was saying prior, and you can keep it clean very, very easy. Lifetime lubricant coating, it's a Teflon based coating. You've got obviously your ceramic polish like you see on your headers, and then also the gray finish. You can put this on exhausts, rocker covers, so any of these combinations that you see here, we can custom mix and match for you.